What's up guys, I'm Vern. I'm Henry. Welcome to another edition of Pokeboy Production Channel. So Henry, where you know where we're going? No. I think it's a place, it's a, actually, it's a place called Shoddy Bread House, I think it's called, right? Shoddy! <laughs> it's in, where is this? Fair, um, where is it? Uh, Fairlawn? Fairlawn, New Jersey. And uh, you ever had Georgian food, Henry? Uh, you well, mean the for, state? First of all, it's not the U.S. state. It's oh. A, <laughs> so Georgia is like, it borders Turkey and uh, I forget what other country, but... It's in Europe, basically. Pretty much, and it's you Turkey, know Turkey, Turkey said. Oh yeah, yeah, Turkey, right, yeah. right. And they have a whole sect of food there, like it's different, and uh, it's it's in their own unique way they make it. So, first time trying it. First time trying it, right, Hunter? Of course. <laughs> you hungry? Always. All right, let's go. Got some nice art on the the walls in the bathroom. Let's do it. This is the Ajaruli. Ajaruli. It's a boat bread with cheese and egg in the middle. And he's gonna try it first. Is it hot? It's hot. <laughs> it's really hot. Fresh off the oven. <laughs> Hot. hot hot like hot hot there's like egg in here raw egg and cheese cheese lots of cheese in there yeah oh look at that yeah. <laughs> I might have to I don't think you can get much with that hey cheese <laughs> there, there you go that's one way to do it Mm. That has a nice crunch to it. Mm. Yeah? I mean, cheese makes, makes good appetizer, I guess. Yeah. Starter. Yeah. Well, you know, there's raw egg. That's a raw egg. Cheese on it. Just dip. You're going to mix it in and then dip the bread in there. Yeah. Good. The bread is pretty good. Though. Cool. This is something new from Georgian. Yeah. Gotta try it. This one. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to mix it to uh, get better. Exactly. It's a raw egg, right? Raw egg, yep. Sulguni cheese mm. mixed together with butter. Oh. It's good though. Heaven. It is good though. <laughs> I gotta come back for this. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But the bread is fully mixed, or the cheese and the egg was fully mixed with butter. There's no more egg sliding around. And it's still super cheesy. Take two for Vernon. <laughs> we know how to eat it, so the guy taught us how. Yeah. <laughs> how to prepare it. Yeah. I can live off this. <laughs> I can too, but I'll die from the carbs. <laughs> <laughs> round two for Henner. Round, round two. two. Round two. Round two for my carb intake. Carb overload. Okay, I'll do it. 
uh, bougie style with a fork. And it's been a good boy anyway, so it's okay. There you go. Since it's fully mixed, you get a good chunk of the... The cheese right there. The, the cheese, fat. the butter, and the uh, egg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hot? Good? Enjoying it. <laughs> that was a big bite actually. A lot to Round two was better. <laughs> Round two was better, definitely. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do the dumplings. Get one. Ma'am dumplings. Punch your hole or whatever, bite into it. Oh, there it is. Oh. Juices are coming out. Uh, uh, you can take a, a, you can take a, a nibble. You can nibble out of it. Yeah. I mean, there's a hole in it already, so there's no more juice. Suck the juice out. How's the juice? Good? Soupy? And that's lamb, right? This is a lamb. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Lamb tastes good. I love lamb. Yeah, with uh, cilantro. Burns favorite, cilantro. <laughs> yeah, the juice I already sip, seeped out because I picked the one with the hole on it. Yeah. Looks good though. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good bite, honey. Definitely taste the lamb. Thumbs up. This is the Burns turn. Yeah, let me get a the one without without. I don't know if there's any holes hole in there. This one has no hole. There's no hole. Oh, yeah. there is. Yes. Oh, there is a little hole. But I'm gonna hold it upside down. Greg right, will hold the juices in. <laughs> Suck that juice, burn. Yeah. Yeah, burn. Suck the juice up out of that thing. Mm. Good. It's like um, it's like dumplings, you know. Uh, I, think, I think it is dumplings, yeah. Georgian style. Georgian style, yeah. They might just have different um, ingredients to it or the yeah. way they make it. Definitely the, the shell is thicker than your normal um, soup dumplings. Mm -hmm. Let's go. This is party. Yeah, it, this, this five pieces definitely fill you up if you eat all no five, probably. Yeah, they give you five pieces, and I think this is like maybe fourteen, right? Maybe? Fourteen bucks for the lamb, um, twelve fifty for the pork and beef, yeah, not and bad. ten bucks for the um, chicken. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, look at that. He finished that. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> Good, Vern. Thumbs oh, up. Thumbs up. The pork and beef lula kebab. Lula kebab. So basically, it's a, it's a kebab yeah. wrapped in um, pita bread. Yeah. Cutting in half so me and Vern could split this in half. Looks like a burrito. Yeah, it looks like a burrito, but it's not like a fully wrapped burrito. And you said that's beef and pork? Beef and pork kebab. Yeah, yeah we split it in half or two. And yeah, that's you know, the same thing. Like There's beef and pork, lamb, chicken, other, mm -hmm. other different ones. But this one is beef and pork that's wrapped in... Um, that's wrapped in... Uh, what do you call this? Pita bread. We've got uh, potatoes and uh, house sauce. I'm not sure what the house sauce is made of. This one right here? It's like tomato, some kind of tomato sauce. Yeah. It's their house special sauce. Nice, it didn't fall apart. Good job, honey. Ooh. <laughs> There's a... Uh, what was this? Pomegranate seeds? Oh, ah, okay. I don't know that's, that, if that's part of the <laughs> thing there. So let's see. Putting some sauce. You gotta put the sauce. Yeah, I don't know what. It looks like tomato sauce. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Good seasoning, good mix of pork and beef. Mm -hmm. um, sauce is good. I can taste a little like a sour type taste. This like thing? Tomato saucy taste kind of thing. It's a, it's I think it is hot sauce but it's not too hot okay. of a sauce. I do feel a little kick to it. Okay. But the seasoning of the, um, the kebab is pretty good. Yeah, yeah nice. Yeah. Different, you know. It's a different season. It's I guess there's special seasoning. It's a different blend. Yeah. So, cool. Pretty good. 
going to try the beef pork lula kebab. Lula kebab. When I think of kebab, I think of the sticks. Yeah, that's what I thought yeah. too. <laughs> that's why I was looking for it like in the entrees. Like we were looking for something like a burrito style or something. Yeah. Like. We but then, yeah. <laughs> I checked out the TikTok to see what it was. <laughs> There you go, do it, do it like that. Hold There's it. a healthy filling of meat here. This is a lot. Good, yeah, it's a good amount. Right? That's that's a mix of pork and beef. Yep, yep. You didn't put hot sauce, Vern. No. Yeah, it's a different seasoning to like your regular, just a plain um, pork and beef. You put some of the sauce to give it more flavor. A little bit more kick. That's a good. Uh, that's a good amount of meat too. Yeah, this definitely gives you a hit of spice. Yeah, right? Yeah. Good, good. The flavor is good though too. I like it. And then you get. You probably could put the onions in there if you want more onions. Here. And the. Uh, Little potato. Potatoes. <laughs> yeah, this is good. The, what do you call it again? Lula kebab. Lula kebab. This is the beef and pork. They have other kebabs. This yeah. is the one that we, we saw on TikTok. So yeah. we thought it was like a burrito style. But it's just, you know, beef and pork kebab just wrapped in um, pita bread. Yeah, and me, Hen me and Henry only ordered three things on the menu, but this filled us up. Yeah, this could fill you up. So everything's pretty much heavy. The bread is heavy, the kebab is heavy, and of course the dumplings are heavy. Yeah, so uh, come hungry, but you won't be disappointed. This is good stuff, right Henry? Yep, definitely. Come hungry, but definitely make a reservation. Oh, reservation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. don't forget. <laughs> you need a reservation to eat here. <laughs> yeah. And we, we messed that up the first time. <laughs> Second time's a charm. Yep. I get one, you get three. <laughs> or you could uh, you could eat uh, two. You could give one to Anne. <laughs> Which is the smallest smallest piece? This one right here. Well, at least there's some chocolate on it. Chocolate fudge on top. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's called, but if you guys know down below, comment because I, for I forgot to catch the name of it. Sugar overload. Is it sweet? It's semi sweet. Okay. Not too sweet. Okay. It's. Was it like a cheesecake type thing? No. It's. It's cake, but like. The, the inside of a cake is like. A little, it's dried up, but it's okay. good. Okay. And there's some some cream in there. So I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty good. Oh, okay. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Anything? Hey, Brian, guess what? What? At least he has chocolate in it. I had some chocolate today. Even though it's just a tiny smidge on top, it's still chocolate. <laughs> Yeah. Not bad, right? No. It's like a chocolate cake type thing. <laughs> sweet though. Yeah. It's not but it's not like super sweet either. Yeah, it's not overly sweet. You're right. Yeah. Like I don't think it's gonna kill you, Henry, right? It probably we will <laughs> with all the food that I ate today yes. well that adds up yeah but yeah <laughs> this is not too bad yeah it's not too bad yeah, the, this is a little bit match well with coffee oh yeah I think so too yeah 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 if you had coffee or this cake I think it'd be a perfect match mm -hmm. all right Henner what do you think of the food it was actually pretty good it was excellent yeah and you know i'm bringing home cheese bread of course i, I think I, I, I forgot what you call it but it looks like pizza, pizza without the tomato sauce <laughs> <laughs> it's their version of pizza basically yeah, yeah. And, uh, it's just uh cheese and butter yeah i believe yeah. so yeah. and then um i also brought home the dumpling the kinkuri i think it's called and uh, the dumplings and the uh, chocolate sweetness the, yeah yeah the it. dessert the dessert yeah and, and I, I got the bread the bread the, oh, I forgot the name of the it the cheese boat <laughs> the cheese boat yeah but um would you recommend it Henry? 
Yes. Yeah, it was it was great. Actually, uh, it's very flavorful, very tasty. Everything was top notch. I like the ingredients they used, mm -hmm. like like that the cheese bread boat. We yeah. forgot to mix it in, and luckily the server. To, yeah, the server like told us like you got you got to mix it in, man. <laughs> he even mixed it for us, so it was good. Yeah, yeah. and you know you are supposed to kind of mix the egg in there because when we were eating it you could still see yeah we were like <laughs> dipping it. i was like oh okay and then um the, the burrito I, I don't really know the names of it so sorry the for lula the, lula kebab the lula kebab. that's a burrito looking one that's the one with the lamb right yes no 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 the lula kebab is the pork and beef wrapped in pita right yeah and then that was good that's yeah you saw how much meat was in there yeah um and the, then, the the soup dumpling was the lamb one that we got yeah yeah and of course the the the, the bread boat bread thing yeah. that was my favorite one actually mine too yeah i would really i would good. order that for sure yeah. as much as it's spiking up my sugar calorie <laughs> as we speak but it was good yeah so uh there were plenty of other menu things that we didn't get to try so if there's anyone that's tried georgian food and have comments on what we should try leave it down below the comments but uh yeah we recommend all the food that we tried yes definitely yes. visit them and make a reservation right Heather? yes number one because th they have a very small seating area uh yes definitely 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 make a reservation before coming here if you're planning to visit their restaurant yeah because this shoddy <laughs> yeah this is our <laughs> second time because first time we, we, we didn't get any reservations we didn't deserve, so, so yeah didn't. so so uh yeah this is in fairlawn new jersey right Hunter? yes it is make a reservation order the food let us know what you think and enjoy and enjoy yeah. definitely enjoy and uh all the servers were very helpful well yeah. if you need any help with what the food is they'll tell you right yep. away so Heather, last words yes please don't forget to comment subscribe and hit that button ding 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 see you guys <laughs>